Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting in the secret place. And together we are in Psalm 39. This is your pastor, Yeti. And today in our reflection, we're going to talk about the transient nature of life. And the key verse for today is from Psalm 39, verse 4. Lord, make me know my end, and what is the extent of my days. Let me know how transient I am. Life is extremely short, believe it or not. It is. Sometimes it's like a tornado, so fast. You look at the beginning of a month, and you turn back, and the month is already in the past. Years are passing like so fast. But you would think that an hour is not even an hour anymore. And still, the minutes are exactly the same, the seconds are ticking exactly the same in an hour. But I believe that it's so much to do with our own life, the busyness of our lives, the fast running and everything that makes life so short. But we can do so much in this life, not only for ourselves in worshiping to our God, and praising Him, but from all that that comes to us. Our hands are blessed, our feet are blessed. The words we speak are blessed because we are instruments in God's hands. Life is extremely short. One of the most important lessons we can learn as an impetus to walk with the Lord and stay focused on things of eternal value is to realize how quickly this life will be over. My self-image has always been far more youthful than the reality of my age. Thoughts have always been focused on the future and what I would do someday. But I believe very strongly that it is a now moment and it's not wrong to face the near future and make plans or sometimes look back to see it as a milestone in what we did and move on. But we have to face the now moment. If we don't do that, we are not facing our reality. With retirement of people in view, my perspective has suddenly changed to realize how little time is left to accomplish whatever God intends for us to contribute in this life. We cannot presume upon the future. The untimely death of peers is a reminder that we never know how much time we will have and that whatever we do must be now, in the present. If you read the letter of James, chapter 4, verse 14, says that life is like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanish away. And Psalm 90 tells us in verse 12, tells us, teach us to number our days that we may present to thee a heart of wisdom. Present to thee a heart of wisdom. It is good to put the things that concern us in proper perspective. Realizing how short life is well, help us invest each moment and each day in that 
which serves the Lord and His purpose. We become so caught up in petty 